it's an urgent warning. I'm your host, Steve Van Meter, and thanks for joining me today. In our show today, I just received a shocking email that exposes a huge risk under the markets. And this is something investors right now don't see coming, but as you're about to see, could send stocks plunging. Plus, if you're a trader and investor, we've got some incredible chart setups you don't want to miss because this is our Sunday show, the show that makes you money, where we like to look at the technicals, momentum, and machine positioning to help you make more money in the markets. Now, we've been talking about this week about the move index. This is the bond volatility index and it's been surging higher and it leads the VIX and when you see that combination it means stocks are about to plunge and as you're about to see what's going on underneath the markets right now could send stocks further down than most people believe. Now, let's head over to that email I just got from Michael Hartnett of B of A Global Research, where he says to she, well, or not to she, he says, I gotta believe after setting up a fund so retail can borrow from the state to invest in stocks, China's government isn't gonna come up short on stimulus this weekend, and yet they did. And this is a huge risk right now that investors are taking because they're looking back to 2015 and 2016 where the narrative was that China saved the global economy and sent stocks soaring. They're piling in in a big way. I'm going to show you why this is a risk they shouldn't be taking. But that's not the only issue we face here. B of A now says a bull market that began at 666 in March of 2009, ending with a blow off top, he thinks now can go up to 6,666. This is the Fed slashes yields of 6.5 trillion in money market funds under the belief, and this is something investors always believe believe that all this money in money markets is going to find its way into the equity markets. It rarely ever does, but you're starting to see there's some catalysts here, but it's the underlying fundamentals of this market, which are very dangerous because here we're seeing a record week of inflow to China stocks, a record inflows in emerging market equities, and a record week of private clients of B of A selling their T-bills, dumping cash to buy into China. And investors are all aboard the risk train on Fed cuts and the reversal of ABC that is anywhere but China trade and here's one of the risks we're seeing right now is the B of A bull and bear indicator has surged from six to seven heading once again to that sell signal of eight so we're seeing now from B of A some risk showing up as they believe the equity markets are going higher but the risk now is being under the Chinese markets but something's going on as you're about to find out with U.S. equities let's talk some more about what's going on at B of A because they say the price is right as traders are chasing China stocks, but allocators are skeptical of a big inflection point, especially ahead of the U.S. election. And this is something we see going into elections each and every time, that there's usually massive air pockets, particularly in U.S. equities, that you see a huge plunge and then a rally after the elections. We haven't seen that happen yet, but with two weeks to go to the end of the month, the opportunity is setting itself up. And we buy any China dips, I think there's huge risks there. We'll look at Chinese equity and the tail of the tape right now says anything but bonds as everyone's dumping bonds. But B of A says the 30 year remains the single best hedge as a hard landing fears evaporate. But many believe, including myself, that we're still coming into a hard landing. Is the long bond trade dead or is this something you should be looking at? Well, stay tuned for that. Let's talk about these flows again. We see the largest flow of record to EM stocks, the largest record flow into Chinese stocks, and the largest flow out of Japan. Japanese stocks. Are these the right trades? We'll take a look at those and a whole lot more. But let's talk about machine positioning because it's very important. We see large amounts of money being traded by machines and we need to know where they're at because when they're maxed out to the upside and you start to catch an air pocket to the downside, well, it means the machines are about to turn and burn. Let's turn over to Goldman here where we see their CTA corner. And these are machines that trade momentum and they're modeled long last week, 120 billion of global equities that's the 81st percentile and now look they're looking to actually be net sellers going forward and we're at a point where buyback blackouts are 97 percent of companies are in blackout and we're just getting into earnings season there's a lot of risk here if companies don't hit their targets but the machine's now ready to sell in a big way let's take a look at where those targets are that we see from goldman you see the first threshold is here then you see down here at 5436 and then all the way down here below. So the first target is right here at 56.29. And unlike most investors, as price goes up, machines say, hey, you know what? If price comes down, I'm gonna carry, 
I'm going to cover some of those losses. I'm going to bank some of those gains. Very important to do, but let's continue on here because as we kick off into next week, we see five things for traders to watch, and that's earning seasons because S&P members are posting a potential 4.3% profit growth, but the risk here isn't that they hit the targets, is that they miss them. And one thing analysts have been doing is revising down the targets so these companies can hit them. And most investors don't even look at what the growth rate is. They turn on the TV and they hear, hey, company blew out expectations, stock goes up, investors buy. What you're seeing is concerted effort to get everybody in this market and to take it higher. At the same time, we're gonna take a look at the energy markets as well because hedge funds are dumping bets against Brent crude at the fastest pace in eight years. Is this the right move? Let's start out with the U.S. equity markets and look at what's going on underneath here because as we hit earnings season, if there's any sort of miss in this market and you see machines long looking to sell on a very small move lower, particularly as we see the move index rising, the VIX index rising, there's a lot of risk here. Let's take a look here at what we see from a position on the the S&P 500, the relative strength index, this is at 64. This is a technical indicator, and you want to see it over 40. And then you got the MACD, which is a moving average convergence divergence. You want a positive cross on this. Now, if you're trying to trade these, you always find yourself getting in late, out early, and all over the place. But we have something called Momentum Timer Pro. It takes these signals and other technical signals with a proprietary overlay to smooth them out. And we're sitting on 23 consecutive daily buy signals right now. But you'll notice we don't have a position because we got stopped out a while back knowing that October usually sees one if not two air pockets and then it's after the election you tend to see a rally we wanted to cover out of those positions and be ready plus there's some really great opportunities in other sectors of this market we look at machine positioning we're modeled here in our CTA time pro 100% long on our fast algorithm 100% long on our slow algorithm as well now if you want to know how to trade these signals we got some links in the description below we show you how to make money trading against the machines and mobile momentum this best part is a 30-day free trial 100 duplicatable system and we've got some great results upside target on the s p well we don't know it but it is very bullish downside target 557 let's take a look at the s p 500 here and see what's going on as we zoom into spy because right now the trend well, it's your friend. And we know that when you see a cross of the 50-day moving average, that's this green line right here. You see a cross right here. That sets up an initial move higher. And what you want to see is it come down and confirm it. Well, it broke through right here around April, but it still held the 100-day moving average in blue. And then it took off again, came down this time, slipped on the yen carry trade blow up, but then came back. It's touched again, the 50-day moving average. And right now, this is a very bullish setup. You see momentum across the RSI rising. Same thing with the MACD. Our downside target here is right at the 50-day moving average at 557.04. But if we see an air pocket, your next zone of support, you see really where this volume is here on the right? Well, that's your next zone of support right down here around 520, suggesting we could see a larger move down due to earnings season here, particularly with the machines set up to sell. We know that, of course, corporates are in blackout. We know pensions funds are overbought. We know mutual funds of reposition so everybody's in this looking for somebody to take it higher the problem is well there may not be anybody let's talk about tech stocks here because momentum is positive again looking at the rsi the 62 we got a positive cross on the macd our own momentum time pro we see over the one three and six month period some very stretched momentum 22 consecutive days here you know we got stopped out of this position too we're okay with that the upside target is the recent all-time high downside target 472 on the button here and normally the machines are very long here this is a problem because again anything can send the markets down let's take a look here at qqq and what do we see again that cross of the 50 day you see in big rally it held support at the 100 day it took off again pull back to the 200 day moving average which was almost a breakdown of the markets and now it surged back what we see here is a potential catalyst back to the recent all-time highs at a time when we see of course the s p 500 continuing to break higher we note again there's risk as these tech companies come to earnings we have netflix next week that there could be some issues here that could create a giant air pocket underneath this market our downside target is 472 that is initial move right here at the 50-day moving average but you want to know where this market could go could go down all the way to 438 so again if you're looking to get some more exposure to the u.s 
this equity market, you could get a nice setup before the election, as we do expect, again, that seasonal air pocket that happens every time we head into a presidential election. But let's talk about small caps because they're nowhere near as bullish as the mega big caps are. As we know, momentum is positive on the Russell 2000. You get the RSI 58, and MACD's got a negative cross. So this is, again, where it gets difficult to trade these signals because you have one saying momentum's up, the other saying momentum's down, and Momentum Timer Pro saying, hey, look, you've got some long signals here. We have picked up one daily sell signal. The trend here is still your friend. And how high can this go? Well, 224.85 is our revised target. We brought this down. We moved our downside target up a little bit. And here you can see on the fast algorithm, machines are backing off and even a little bit on the slow algorithm. But one thing that gives us the edge is we run a historical overlay. So we know where the machine should be traced. So when they get off position, well, it gives us the advantage. Again, links in the description below. Jump on that 30-day free trial. Start making money trading. Or maybe you're an investor looking for some long-term setups. We nailed those as well let's talk about china because all this money's flowing into china on the belief that there's this huge bullish setup coming and that all the stimulus that china is doing is actually going to work the risk is what if it doesn't work because keep this in mind the last time china did this the global economy was in decent shape this time the global economy is slowing down in a big way let's take a look at this rsi at 61 macd positive cross 19 consecutive daily buy signals on momentum timer pro we didn't have a position on this because it moved too quick and sometimes those are trades you want to avoid upside target back near the recent high at 37.50 downside target we move that up machines long momentum long everybody's long but is this a trade that you want to be in because everybody else is chasing this higher and perhaps it's something to avoid let's go out to the 10-year chart here where we can go back to 2015 and what you see here is this is what everybody's excited about the china came in did some stimulus well the market actually plunged before it took off this time everyone's trying to get in early but one thing i want to note is when you see these rapid moves higher particularly when stocks go vertical it's usually not a good thing it shot up and sellers who were eager to capitalize on the news as everyone came running in they're the ones that made money holding this trade for a while but look at this you're starting to see a head a left shoulder right shoulder topping pattern for me here the risk is you've got some big downside exposure as momentum's rolling over there's some risk here this is one that i think is a huge mistake right now that investors are chasing this higher i don't like the risk set up here at all it doesn't make any sense but what about emerging markets is that trade any better well let's take a look at that setup as well because i don't like the setup up here either i think there's better opportunities you see momentum is positive but macd is now flipped to a negative cross you've got 19 consecutive daily buy signals here upside target back up to 47 44 downside target 44 23 but again exposure across the machines is long momentum is fairly up Momentum is to the upside. Again, if you're looking to make money trading or investing, you want to find things that are actually down, not already up. That's what you, how you really want to do it. But let's take a look at this chart setup here because when we look at emerging markets, you see the same thing. Now we go back a week or so ago and I drew this purple line in and said, hey, this is a support level. And if you go out five years, it's very clear. You see this is a place previously sellers have been. You see their sellers were there and then they broke out. You see sellers right here and sure enough, sellers in a emerging markets looking to take advantage of this move and sure enough it rallied up there it came down you see buyers are eager again you see all these b of a clients saying i want to buy em stocks so they think china is going to cause a big rally in the market don't think it's going to happen this time because the global economy is slowing here you see the macd rolling over and heading down you see momentum starting to turn down i don't like this risk setup but there are other setups but one of them i don't like well that's japan we see this of course being dumped momentum still positive but not for actually Momentum is negative, I should say. There, our size at 51. Magni's got a negative cross. Three consecutive daily sell signals on our Momentum Time Pro. You want to see if this works. We'll look at machine positioning coming down on the slow algorithm, starting to come down on the fast algorithm. Let's take a look at EWJ here. I'll show you why this setup is horrible because look at this. This is the six-month volume profile. And this is where the most shares have been traded over the last six months. And what does it tell you? People are selling this level, selling this level, selling this level. 
setting up a move lower. So this is one case where I think B of A clients got it right. But if you're looking to make money, there's other places. And perhaps one of those is the bond market because it just had a major sell-off. One thing we know from Nomura in their terms of their CTAs, they're not sellers yet. They're looking to sell under 111.68 on the 10-year. Friday's close was at 112.08. As long as we see it holds support, that's a big issue here. Right now, the RSI is deeply oversold at 27. MACD's got a huge negative cross to the downside we've got 16 consecutive daily sell signals on momentum tyrant pro but when we look at one of our golden signals here we see the sell max on a one month but we got back test data that shows when this flips there's money to be made even as a trade on the long bond and look at our machine positioning max short we're going to add another position to our trade that's only down 0.32 percent right now because we didn't use stop losses if you're looking for an opportunity in the market the long bond could be one of them remember Hartman said hey he's been bullish on the long Long bond and particularly at the Fed cuts rates and we go into hard lending, money's going to be made here. Portfolios are going to be protected by this, and most people aren't even ready for that at all. Let's take a look at TLT here because this is quite the incredible setup that we've been watching for. And on a six month basis, what you see here is price came down right into this volume profile. See that red line there? That's support. Now we knew this was likely to get sold. This was something I told you I thought was going to happen. We noted this to our subscribers. We make some money on the long bond trade and then we got stopped out of it now we're looking at potentially another entry point you want to win hit the link subscription below you're going to make a ton of money because the next move if this holds support is right back up to 100 so you're looking to move from 94 roughly to 100 and then a potential breakout to 109 that's right trading the long bond where you get paid interest on top of this this was a move we expected again anytime you see a rally maybe this is called an elliott wave you see a first move you see a pullback there's wave number two and the third wave is a big one if that breaks out over 109 well this thing's going it's going to have some legs to it because when you zoom out the next zone of supports at 118 so you're seeing some potential early moves here of a big play in the bond market there's your setup there let's talk about the other opportunities that we see coming in this market right now outside the long bond how about gold? Right now we got two daily buy signals, but one of the problems with gold is momentum is stretched across the one, three, and almost a six month as well. You got two consecutive daily buy signals. The market here is looking a bit toppish. You're seeing momentum slow, led by the MACD. Where's the upside target? Well, the sky's the limit on this. Many of you said gold's going to the moon, and maybe it is, but what if it doesn't? Let's take a look at some other opportunities outside gold here in a moment, because if you like gold, and we'll show you a much better trade setup, here you see that right near the all-time high looking to break out if you're looking for a trade this one may not be it but we've got back tested data on this so hang tight if you want to be a subscriber hit the links in the description below we'll show you when you should get in but how about gold miners if you like gold well gold miners have got a lot more upside potential we picked up four daily sell signals in momentum but now that's flipped back here and there may be a trade in gold miners for our subscribers you gotta log in and check our size at 53 magni's got a negative cross where do we see this going let's take a look because if there's a chart set up that you want to be in outside the bond market well you should take a look at gold miners let's take a look at gdx here i'm going to zoom out to the one year chart because i want you to see this trend here and it crossed the 50-day moving average right here came down yeah sort of confirmed it rallied up sort of confirmed it again but it was really the 100-day moving average it confirmed it again and so anytime you see price roughly bouncing off a moving average well, that's positive. Here we're looking at a breakout over the recent high at 41.95. Let's zoom out to the five-year chart. If you think gold's going up, well, miners are likely to get somewhere near the recent five-year high up here at 45. That would be a $5 move on a $40 stock. So if there's your upside potential for GDX. Looking at momentum, you see, of course, the MACD starting to bottom out and curve higher. You see the RSI turning up. So there's your second trade setup. Forget gold, take a look at miners. How about we look at the dollar here? This is something I'd probably want to avoid. You have 30 consecutive daily buy signals. You've got maxed out on a one month window. This is not a setup we like, and one we think is very reflexive. Upside target 29.19, but I'll tell you something that's really cool. I recently got the back tested data for Momentum Timer Pro. I haven't put it out to the subscribers yet because I got to package it up, but there are some incredible trade setups on currencies, and this is one of the dollar we know you want to avoid. Let's take a look look at that and then I've got one more incredible setup coming here for you 
the dollar is down here and why do we want to avoid it well there's that vertical move it's just something you don't want to trade so we're passing on this trade for now upside target if you want it is 29.19 keep your stops a bit tight because if there's a bit of reversal as money is clamoring for dollars when people are selling t-bills something's not adding up here but let's take a look at the united states oil 19 consecutive daily buy signals we see hedgies are selling oil contracts is this a setup you want to be in let's take a look at oil real quick here here. and then we got one more setup for you that you're going to love because i think it's another great opportunity oil what do you see here it's sitting above the six month volume profile but look at this it seems shooting higher sellers came in it shot back up sellers came in let's take a look at the 10 day volume profile you see it's holding here you see it's holding the 30 day and most likely as well the 90 day here right here so the setup is bullish but the problem is it's the economy. If this thing's got some upside potential, it's 80, 63. If you're in this, that's your sell target. Look for that there. But what should you be focused on? How about the commodity market? Now we got stopped out of soybeans on the ninth for a nice 3.19% gain, but this is setting up another great setup. Look at machine positioning, it's pulling back here. We've got back tested data on this. We're seeing a pullback in momentum, and this is fantastic because this is the stuff you wanna be looking for to make money trading and let me zoom out to the five-year chart because look what happened back here it rallied up and pulled back into the same zone as that right now and then rallied up pulled back rallied up pulled back and then it took off like a rocket well look what happened it pulled down to the zone it's rallied up so there's your wave one if you're an elliott wave trader there it is and then what happens it pulls back down into a zone of support now that zone of support in my book is going to be right here around 2161 you see the rsi coming down heading toward oversold territory you see that it across in the MACD but if it comes down and holds and takes off well there's your wave three if you're an Elliott wave trader if you want to know when to trade soybeans again we're going to have all the setup information to our subscribers so again jump on those links in the description below start making money on this market don't be long the wrong things don't listen to everything B of A tells you because we think there's some moves there that the clients there are on the wrong side of the trade we think there's much better setup and as you're seeing them take advantage of them but as always I'm Steve Van Meter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being fans. Bye now.